Hi, it's Debbie from Our Vagabond Travels, and um, this is my first haul. So, well, my first haul that I'm sharing with you. <laughs> so, um, I went to a couple places. I went to Goodwill in Denver, and that was our first stop. And um, I got only three items from there. So, the first thing I got was this pretty bowl, which I... I really like it. It's a um, nice, heavy, controlled bubble um, glass. And um, what I thought it would be great for is like if you just put your um, paper clips or something in, in it, be great. And then there's really not anything wrong with it. However, there's one thing wrong with it, I should say. There's um, on the bottom where the sticker was, there's actually these little like chip marks or something. I don't know but you can't really see it when it's like sitting down. So I don't know. Anyways, I liked it. Oh, and I paid $1.99 for that. And then I got this uh, Shenango creamer, just a pretty neutral color, no chips, no cracks. It's beautiful. And I paid 50 cents for this one. So that was exciting. And then the last thing I got from there was this really cute coaster set oh my god it's adorable and um i didn't count them but it says there's 24 coasters and 24 napkins so anyways and i paid 99 cents for that one so then after that um we were gonna go to an antique mall but then my husband said mm, why don't we go to the bins have any of you ever been to the bins i have several times, lots of times, but it's usually like chaotic craziness. Um, that's the Goodwill's last stop before it goes to the landfill. If you don't know what the bins are, it's called the outlet, Goodwill out outlets. And um, so we went in there and it, it was very interesting. They had a whole different way of doing it. Um, you had to like have a number and, and um, when they switch the bins out after a while, they rotate these big, huge, blue bins and um, they are they're on rollers and they come rolling out and they're they made all of us go back and stand on our number or letter and um, then you could go in groups and go and start digging through the bins and uh, so we did find some good good treasures so the first thing that that I found was this uh, lead crystal vase it's beautiful. It's really heavy. I think it weighs just over two pounds. Yeah, two and a half pounds, I think. And um, I did some research on it, and it's actually uh, Polish, from Poland, uh, lead crystal. So that was amazing. And um, what I did was I divided it out because you pay by the weight, by the pound. Um, so this vase ended up costing me $2.80. So that was amazing. And then the next thing that I found were these bells. So vintage bells that I'm sure some of you remember. And um, I think these are about seven inch, seven inches long. And I got four of the large ones. And then I got, I don't know, a ton of these smaller ones. Maybe 15, 20 of the smaller ones. And um, those came out to be 80 cents for all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. And I, I don't know, I think they're, they're selling for like maybe for the big ones, I think six or seven bucks a piece, but who knows. And then I got some baker's twine, a roll of baker's twine. Hopefully if I sell some of this stuff, I can uh, use it to package it up. And I paid 60 cents for the whole big chunk. So my husband, um, he doesn't really know quite yet what to look for, but... Uh, he did amazing on this trip. So he comes back with this box and he goes, hey, I think this might be something. So we go through it and oh, look what it is. It's a Joseph original. It's in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it. 
It's beautiful. So we got that. But wait, there was two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the number one. So cute. I don't know if that's focusing. She's gorgeous. Nothing, nothing is wrong with her either. And those came out to like 20 cents <laughs> for both of them. Yeah. Okay. What else did I get here? And I got these. They were in that same box with those babies. So they're just real pretty art glass. Yeah, they're gorgeous. This one has a hanger on it, but I don't know. I think they're just pretty enough to sit around. And those I got for $1.30. So yeah, I decided to, to go ahead and disclose the prices on here. A lot of the gals that I follow um, do that, and I find it really interesting. I, I would rather watch something and know what somebody paid for it. It's more, it's fun to see all the deals. And then we also got this beautiful Longa Burger. It's a Longa Burger. I don't know if you can see that. Pottery. But it is gorgeous. And it's called their Paprika color on here. And this actually originally came in a set of three. And this was the smallest one out of them, which... I think it's, let me see, eight and a half inches in diameter. So, and it's like nobody ever used it. It's beautiful um, by, I think it's almost five inches tall. And that color might be coming out a little bit different, but it is actually like a paprika color. All right, so there's that. And then we're just about getting ready to leave. And my husband, uh, I went over to see what he was doing and look in the bin that he was in and I was like oh my god don't move grab that it was vintage Christmas bulbs just lying in the bottom there was a couple broken ones but I was shocked that these were still there silent night this one's a, a big one I don't think it's what they call the jumbo but it's a large one and then there's this one, which is gorgeous. This, the other ones are, sh those were shiny brights. And then this one I think is a made in Germany one. It's really hard to see with my old eyes, but I'm pretty sure it says Germany on the top of this one. It's gorgeous. And then there's this one, kind of frosted. Beautiful. And there's more. This cutie pie is a Humpty Dumpty one. You can see that. Sorry, I don't know how to flip my camera so that uh, it doesn't read backwards. When I get better, I'll figure that out. And here's a Silent Night one. There's one of these. One of these. And these two. So yeah, that was awesome. And uh, sheesh, I can't remember how much I paid for those. But they don't weigh hardly anything, so I probably paid a buck or two for them if that, maybe a buck. And then, it's a bunnykins. <laughs> it's so cute. This one's called Storytime. Adorable. So cute. So that's a Royal Dalton. And then I did notice on this one, the ear has been glued back on. But you, can, you can't even tell. Whoever did it did a good job. But anyways, cutie pies. And then the other things we got. Now this, my husband said, 
oh, what do you think about these mugs? And I said, no, I said, those are new. I don't, I'm not interested in those. And then he goes, but wait, they say West Germany on the bottom. <laughs> I'm like, really? So um, we grabbed the four mugs. There was, there was another mug there, but it was broken. So th these are in perfect shape and um, I have four of them. And then we found the plates. So these, I think, are a little over seven inches in diameter. And um, they go for like, I was looking on Etsy and on um, eBay, and they're like 10 bucks a piece for each, each one. Crazy. And then there's a creamer, too. Mm. <laughs> there's the creamer. Very cute. Yeah, they're in great shape. So, anyways, oh, I'm at 11 minutes. I better hurry up. Um, the other thing I found was like a cake decorating thing, and I don't even think I'll show it, but it was just a cake decorating kit with all the tips. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and um, I'll show more when I do my next haul. Thanks.